Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys yet another new Cydia tweak. This tweak is called Mobile Notifier, however it is in its beta stages. I'll be making a video of both um, right now while it's in beta, and once it releases um, into its final version. So according to the developer, Mobile no Notifier is iOS notifications done right, and I do think that is true. So let's go ahead and get started. It's a very simple tweak. Basically what happens is if you get a notification, I'll go ahead and send a uh, text message from another phone here to my phone as a form of a notification. And when I get the text message, it will pop up in the top uh, the top part of my screen um, with the sender and then the I guess the text under it. And what you can do once this pops up is you can go ahead and tap it and either hit open to open the, message, the messages application or you can go ahead and hit later and it will disappear. Very nice. So if I go ahead and send another another text message here, this one I will make um, different here. Um, I typed something random, but autocorrect made it say uh, traffic disk JV or whatever it says. Either way, here's another notification. We can go ahead and hit later on that too. Like I said, it works with any notification app like Facebook or uh, Twitter. But the cool part is that you can go ahead and go back and view your notifications that you might have hit later on. So if we double click the home button and we bring up our task switcher, we also get brought up with the previous notifications from all of our apps. In this case, it's only the text messages app as um, I just got this uh, tweak, but it is really cool to go ahead and go back and you can go ahead and tap them and open their uh, application that uh, the notification was assigned with. So very, very cool on that part. So like I said, it also works in settings. So if you go ahead and bring up your multitasking bar, it still works right here. And once you click it, as you noticed, it'll go ahead and disappear from your list right there. And then to exit, you can just go ahead and hit right there. Um, in settings, we do have settings for mobile notifier, except there really aren't any. It just has a section. Tapping mobile notifier does not do anything for me. And then you do get your credits and things like that. So mobile notifier is definitely a very promising city tweak and the developer really thinks it's the note the way notifications should be done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get that and we're going to go ahead and launch up Cydia here. Um, this source is a really long source so it will be in the description along with in the video and I will go ahead and show it on my phone. So we'll go ahead and cancel the refresh, go to sources, we'll go ahead and get to the repo right here. And it is this repo right here. It'll go ahead, I'll put it in the uh, text below. P-H-A-J-S-S, or J-A-S, dot X-E-N, dot P-G, or I guess P-R-G-M-R, dot com, slash repo. Go ahead and add that in the city. Like I said, it's very long. It's in the description, and it will be in the video right there. And then once you get that, you can go ahead and install Mobile Notifier. Like it said, iOS notifications done right. Like I said, it's in base stages, so it will be updated uh, rather quickly, and it will be updated with uh, greater stability and things like that. So that's how to get it, and um, stay tuned for the future video on the final release. So go ahead and leave a comment if you think this is definitely the way iOS notifications should be done, or go ahead and tell me why or why not. So that's it for um, this so video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Go ahead and add me on Game Center 2 while you're at it. And then go ahead and check out iOSBeta4.com to go ahead and secure your spot for the latest iOS 5 beta that will be announced soon by Apple and is Apple's next step in the iOS development stages that go ahead and adds a lot of new features just like iOS 4 added a lot of new features iOS 5 will do the same, so go ahead and secure your spot before spots run out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.